Gayla, I am known as a youth evangelist, but I'm not a youth, but I'm a mama. I'm known as a mother of many young folks. Hallelujah, many young people uh, here in the United States of America, especially in Massachusetts, the Boston area, and Uganda. I bring greetings from Father God, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Grace be upon you, and peace be upon your school, and peace be upon your children. Uh, and your and your relatives yeah um i want to thank you so much for allowing uh my sister but my assistant minister in kampala uganda uh her name is hope sarah mrs mulumba i also want to thank for uh thank you so much for allowing uh my other leader of the youth amos kilizi to coming to your school for a good cause, a cause called salvation, a cause called save a life, a cause called we save the world. Hallelujah. Those are the ones I've mentioned before because they have embarked on this journey. Others are coming on board like Shafiq Chigozi and Tara Tendo and Chirabo. They are coming on board. I am here in our studios. I'm not by myself. I'm with my friend, uh, my sister and fellow minister. Her name is Philomena Barros Ruth. And I have come today with a great message. Uh, many years ago, um, as a young, a young girl, I remember I was really, really young. I was about 12 years old. My mother took me to a school called Kako Secondary School. And I used to lead worship and praise. And I used to love Jesus. Because in my home, we love Jesus. And we are born again Christians because my dad is a reverend canon. However... I used to be the most naughtiest girl in school. Like, I will just be funny, make comedy, not revise my books, jump around. And I joined myself with girls and boys who are of the world. One of them I remember was Aisha Virunja. I say her name. And she used to be my friend and would escape and go to clubs. And from there, Satan captivated me. And to a point of ending up in a bad place, they call Hades hell even when i tried to repent it was so hard it was very difficult until when many many years passed going to churches trying to be prayed for but there was no redemption and there was no freedom finally when i was in the united states of america in the year 2016 crying out to god telling uh, one of my friends i used to hang with even here because even in america i was smoking a little bit of weed uh, drinking I became I became alcoholic because the problems were too much and uh, my friend was like you know what Rachel I think you should go to church because looks like your problems are beyond human understanding I went to church and I rededicated my life to Christ Jesus and I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ 
that is so huge i can't share it right now but right there he told me rachel you found grace before me you found mercy before me go and save the world and he told me the world comprises of so many uh categories of people some are, are mature and some are as some are as a, others are young and he told me put your emphasis on the young generation people in schools universities colleges that is where i wanted to go for now and he told me to write a book and actually the book um i wrote the book by his grace he gave me the words and he gave me weapons to use um to use in our generation to save the young folks in this time and era um so today mother father headmaster teacher doctor or nurse leader nation leader i kindly ask you to please grab a copy of the book that we entitled for your own good for your own good why for your own good is because many a times we 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 are men of god or people are sent to help us to advise us to live right and we refuse we choose the wrong way in this book you're gonna be equipped to learn how to choose the right way you will learn the weapons to use to defeat that man satan who takes young children in captivity and jails them up this book is loaded with truth with grace and the power of the god of light i am not gonna say much but i kindly ask you to accept you as the headmaster of the school the director of the school have this copy in your library and even please have it as a subject say in literature or especially history or i mean like literature because literature we, we used to read so many novels because this book is gonna save not only one child in a school not only two but many people i'm here to tell you that satan tried to take my blood he says we need your blood but jesus saved my life why because god is in everybody good or bad even those people that satan sends to schools to entice the girls sends to schools to give girls money and then they go and make abortions all those people carry god's blood this book is for every person's own good i kindly ask you to grab a copy from our ministry uh my minister uh my assistant minister who is my sister hope sarah is always available she'll give you her phone number and her contact and also leader Amos Kilizi and Shafiq and Taras. Today, I am Mama Save the World Uganda. Hashtag Save Your Love. Without love, you cannot save other people. Without love, you cannot redeem souls. Without love, you cannot change nations. We are fighting for the young generation, the young blood, because they are the leaders of tomorrow. They are the ministers of tomorrow. They are the bishops of tomorrow. They are the doctors of tomorrow. They are the presidents of tomorrow. I kindly ask you to grab a copy of this book. It's called For Your Own Good. And also, I kindly ask you to afford us time to come to your school and have to address the students so they can see me, they can hear my testimony, they will be encouraged. And Jesus taught me how to pray right to save your child. Hallelujah. Satan tried to kill me so many times, but Jesus saved me car accidents going to clubs you're gonna find everything in this book but i'm alive hallelujah using doctors to kill me i'm alive using false prophets to kill me i'm alive why because of the grace of god i love you my name is rachel Kayla. if you want to reach out to me directly my number is one nine seven eight nine nine one seven zero three four nine seven eight nine nine one seven three four seven zero three four i plead the blood I plead the blood. Hallelujah. I'm going to say a prayer before, before we go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every uh, minister, every teacher who has watched this video. I ask you, dear God, to touch their lives, that they will buy this book, that so that they can save 
the young people of today. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you follow this video wherever it's going to go in the United States, outside the United States, and even in Uganda, Africa, Nigeria, and Ghana. Father, we worship you and we give you praise. We thank you because today is Salvation Day. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to leave without asking you to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You could be a Muslim today. You need a Savior. You need somebody to fight for you like he fought for me even when they gave me poison. Please repeat these words after me. Say, dear God of grace and power, I ask you to come into my life. Break every chain from the pits of hell. Break every chain from here. Break every chain from sin. Redeem me by your grace. Redeem me by your power. Come into my heart. Save my soul. Save my children. Save my bloodline. Save my family. Turn us into your image. Turn us into your image. Turn us into your image. Help us to appreciate what you did for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And today, I'm a child of God. In Jesus' name. Amen.